Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone! I'm the Global Cherry, and today I will show you how I beat Dying Light 1 using ChatGPT's guide. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. According to ChatGPT, knowing the lay of the land was crucial in my survival, so I looked at my surroundings before noticing two virals eating themselves off the cliff. Now I can camouflage myself. I then rushed into a facility to deliver Dr. Seuss the potential cure for humanity's survival when I saw Rice's henchman. Aiming for the head was the AI suggested tactic. However, he told me to fight him like a man, so I changed my tactic and made him a woman. <coughs> the biters outside my door wouldn't stop talking about Thread and Twitter, so I experimented with weapon types and let him cook for a bit. I took an elevator down to Dr. Seuss's office when the elevator broke down. Mourning the failure of Haran's technology, I used my survivor sense to look for a biter and took my anger out on it. <coughs> Then I felt better after looking at the zombie's pearly white smile. Seeing an opening in the ceiling, I crawled through the vents using my well-invested skills and woke up the security guard in the security room. I accidentally opened the doors to some biters, but using nature's pomegranate juice, I've deceived them into thinking I'm also a zombie. If you can't beat them, join them. They found out I was an imposter due to my veteran parkour skills and swarmed me out of jealousy. The AI suggested teaming up with someone in co-op to beat them fairly, but that would require making friends. Specifically a $10 per month PS Plus membership. So I've used my wits to outsmart them solely, but I was outsmarted by my one weakness. Gas canisters. The AI suggested that I scavenge for valuable resources, so I respectfully took money from the undead. They didn't look like they needed the money anyways. I then entered the vents like a sus Among Us character and came across my worst enemy, Big Chungus. <coughs> oh how I despise you so, for using me as a human pinata multiple times. <coughs> Every time I take you out of this world, you keep coming back to torment me. To end our feud once and for all, I didn't end him. I made his friend Steve do the job. I then proceeded to give this goon a 4th of July celebration, witness the infected die after showering, and finally encounter Dr. Seuss. He says a cure is within reach. Those samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. I had to make a phone call on the tower three grappling hooks away to the GRE about the research we found when I noticed it was getting dark. The AI suggested staying in the light, but there was none to be seen. So I did the best thing any night runner would do, stay inside and be a chicken. It's too scary out there. I then got bored and proceeded to taunt the infected at night outside my garage door with explosive arrows. A volatile almost got to me, but it appears I had an acupuncture appointment beforehand. While harassing two zombies, I heard a cry near me. It was a survivor fighting for his life. I thought perhaps I didn't need to be alone in this world. I cheered him on and proceeded to encourage him to fight off the biter that caught him in his grasp, but he relented to the bite of 87. I called the GRE on a tower to make a report, but Rise was on the other side of the call and challenged me to find him. Challenge accepted. Come, Gray. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. I prepared for my encounter with him and took a route through the sewers to reach the town he resided in. He had other plans for me. A welcome party worth dying for. Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, well, would you just shut up? You're the last thing I want to hear. What? Hear me? What a brilliant idea. I found myself running for my life and back into the horrid smelling sewers again. After submitting the urge to wrestle the zombie child, I've encountered a volatile flash mob. I ran as fast as I could away from the cringe and tried to ward them off with UV. But it looks like they happened to wear sunscreen, because it had no effect on them.
Luckily, I escaped as they happened to be suicidal and throw themselves down the hole in the sewers. I made it to the gladiator arena and proceeded to climb the tower to reach Rise. I will find you, Rise, and when I do, I will kill you. Nothing was going to stop me. Well, maybe gravity. <laughs> Once I've reached Rise, he pulled a stunt that no one would expect. Quick time events. <laughs> The fight was so lame. Although the jury was definitely betting money on who would live or not, they were definitely betting on Rise. After Rise lost the fight, we kindly told the GRE to drop from the sky. As they rode into the sunset mildly offended, I felt victorious and excited for what's next in store for my adventure. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe for more content like this, like the video, and comment what you think of the video. Thank you for watching, and that's all. This is Ayo speaking. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night, and good luck.